Wunderkammer, that is a museum of uh, natural history in Berlin. That was uh, a competition. We, we had the second prize. Uh, it's a combination between maybe an architectural project, of course, because it's a competition, but we had also an urban approach uh, by the observation of the users. Uh, so it's a natural, natural history museum, but um, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, located in a, in a nearby a, a station, a, a train station in Berlin, nearby, and nearby the zoo garden. I don't know if you don't know, if you know it. And behind it you have uh, like a university. And uh, the place uh, was like during, I don't know, for many years it was totally empty. All the urban, uh, all the urban landscape was totally disconnected. And uh, we wanted to make like a project that, of course it's going to be an object, an architectural object, but also something that could create a new urban condition. And, uh, and uh, interaction. An interaction between the building and the universities uh, and, around. And by observing what was going on there, we, we, we saw that there's, a, a, how do you say, like a, a line where the where the user students like they went from the from the train station to the university, and we wanted to organize like an urban centrality between the museum and the university and the central station. And this is why, like, we have uh, this, um, how do you say, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, building that is uh, that is connected as we as we made it. So we wanted to to create really like a direction between the train, the university, and creating a central place. But uh, as an architectural approach, we we really thought this project as. A, how do you say, we, we call it a chambre de curiosité. Cabinet curiosité. A cabinet curiosité. I don't know if it's, it's a French word. So I think we've always been very um, or impressed or amazed by these uh, museums when we went when we were like kids and you and you enter in a natural museum and you see like a lot of spaces and a lot of vocals and a lot of uh, uh, animals, you know, like put like this together and, and nothing seems to have... Uh, an organization, but behind it there's like very very big organization, and this is what we wanted to to show in this uh, project. We wanted like didn't want to to make a kind of scenography, but uh, the project in itself is the scenography of the natural history museum. So when 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 the when the visitor when you get in, he has like the facade is already the organization of the different uh, things that has been has to be shown in this. Uh, and we wanted to have two facades, like the exterior facade and the internal. Um, um. Yeah. So the, the the exterior facade is uh, all the offices of the of the scientists where they're gonna work. So they have to be they have to be like on the exterior facade, and the interior facade is the layer where you can find like all the animals that's gonna be exposed for the and the skeletons and everything for the for the users. and. The scientists could work from their office and they could like, interfere with this interior facade and the interior layer. But we wanted to show some of the interior of the building in the, um, in the outside. So that's why like some of the, some of the uh, how do you say, squares of the grid of, of our facade is, uh, is, uh, yeah, is shown on the exterior. So you can see it. And the train station is Zoo Garden, so we, we thought it was it could be like a good idea if uh, someone is going to the museum when he gets to the Zoo Garden, he's got on the left uh, the, the the Zoo Garden, and the and on the right you can see like some part that could show what's going to be inside in the Natural History Museum. So to put the picture already in a condition. Mm -hmm.